so important. Mm -hmm. We're still out there educating people. Mm -hmm. We are. My perspective of kind of getting a, a, a new look or a fresh look at uh, the association is that uh, it's hard to imagine how fast it's grown and how much it's become stronger. I mean, in, in many ways, it's it's been 20 years, mm -hmm. but there's been a great deal accomplished oh, yes. in those 20 years. Yeah. I just can't imagine what's going to happen in the next 20 years. Another thing that, uh, that GPA has helped with yeah. is getting grant writers and funders together. Yeah. And that was something that we, we weren't focusing on in the beginning. We were focusing on more how to write the grant, how to follow the directions. And I think now a lot of the focus is on the connection between the and funder partner, and too, the yeah. grant writer's organization and the partnership. And what a generous group of people. I mean, I never walk out of here without connections, which is yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and oftentimes a grant writer is a single, solitary person in an organization. You usually don't yeah. have a grant writing department unless your organization is huge, mm -hmm. you know. And I think what really attracted people was getting to that come to one place and talk to people in the yeah. same boat. Exactly. You know? At the Chicago conference, I was in the elevator with two guys, and you could tell we all were going somewhere. And the one um, guy said, oh, what conference are you going to? To the other guy, and he said something like, the da-da-da-da-da medical association. Da -da -da. And he said, what conference are you going to? Oh, it's a science, a math. Da -da. And they turned to me and said, what conference are you going to? And I said, grant professionals. And they said, you guys talk to each other? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yes, we talk to each other. And we help each other. But I guess they thought of us as so competitive that we wouldn't share our secrets. Yeah. But it is a profession that people were very giving and very um, mentoring. I always want to see somebody succeed. Yeah. You know. Yeah. The education piece for an association, I mean, to me, it's just a natural, it's a given thing. It is. It, it's, yes. what, it, it's what continues to, it, what's, I think it's what continues to draw people to the, to the association because, as you say, you can be mm -hmm. the sole person doing the actual uh, preparation right. proposal writing, and that mm -hmm. is, there's a lot of sol solitary work in yeah. our business. I, I've sort of flipped recently in the last few years where I'm in our nonprofit 501c3s are recipients of grants, so um, sort of look at it as a, a little differently now, but, uh, and that's where the relationship building and, and looking at that kind of stuff, uh, those things that it, it has helped me a lot. Yeah. And we did start, you reminded me, we did start mentoring at yes. some of the conferences, which yes. was another plus, because we had people who knew how to write, and young people coming up who said, can you spend some time with me? And I remember I helped one person with a pork, pork board, and not being from this end of the, the country, mm -hmm. I'm like, pork board, hmm. Mm -hmm. And once he explained what it was, it was an agricultural right. um, grant, and I helped him, and he got it, and he oh, was cool. thrilled. <laughs> yeah, well, I would have understood that when I was yes, the top pork producer in the country. <laughs> I think that I think that consulting piece and advisement piece is much more exciting than yes, it yourself. Is. It is. It but is. To see somebody else be able to make that, and really, isn't that what the entire association is yes. about? But I think the outcomes, the the products that you're putting out now are very professional. The website's good. The communication is excellent. So mm -hmm. um, I, I've, I, I think it's turned, or well, I guess it was a progression, but where you are now is really good. Um, I, I, you're filling up. You had to cut off attendees for yeah, this conference amazing. and stuff. That was so, amazing. Um, if you're not doing something right, you won't be where you are today. Absolutely. So. Uh, there were a number of things that were started early, and maybe we didn't have them all developed, and credentialing is a good example, but keep those things going, those things that are working really, really well, mm -hmm. and that are really appropriate and very common in the, in the professional organizations. Keep mm -hmm. those things going. So I, I, don't, I don't know that I have any specific things to suggest but to keep those things that you've got going today, 
and build on them and mm -hmm. make them stronger. And that's going to just lead to more recognition, I think, across, across the nation, beyond the, beyond the nation, in terms of the profession. Now, I would say I, I agree with what, what you're saying, that there are really good things that you have going and maintain them, keep them going. The credentialing, the chapters, the conferences, the um, website, all those things are so important. Keep them going, keep them strong. That advocacy, too, I really think it would you would know that you're successful when um, a funding agency turns to GPA and asks for a review of their solicitation, or turns to GPA and asks for recommendations on criteria for selection, or I, I don't know what, but the point at which they would turn to GPA as the experts in the field. I think then you know we're advocating correctly. We've arrived. Yeah. <laughs>